Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to fix the Anti-Malware Service Executable High Memory or CPU usage problem on Windows 11. This issue can slow down your PC, and today, we'll fix it with a couple of easy steps. Let's get right into it. Click the Start menu and type Task Scheduler, then open it. On the left-hand panel, expand the following folders, Task Scheduler Library, then Microsoft, then Windows. Scroll down and click on Windows Defender. On the right, you'll see a task called Windows Defender Scheduled Scan. Right-click on it and select Properties. Go to the Conditions tab. Check the box that says Start the task only if the computer is idle for. Set the first box to one hour. Set the second box to two hours. Click OK. Right-click the same scheduled scan task again and click Properties. This time, under the General tab, Uncheck the box that says, Run with highest privileges. Click OK. This will stop Windows Defender from running heavy scans while you're actively using your computer. Step 2. Add Defender's Engine to Exclusions. Click the Start menu again and type Virus and Threat Protection. Then open it. Scroll down and click on Manage Settings under the Virus and Threat Protection Settings section. Scroll down to Exclusions and click Add or Remove Exclusions. Click Yes if prompted by UAC. Click Add an Exclusion. Select File. In the File Browser that opens, click on this PC. Open the drive with the Windows logo, usually C. Open Program Files. Find and double-click Windows Defender. Scroll down and select msmpeng.exe. This is the Defender Engine file. Click Open to add it to Exclusions. Step 3. Click Add an Exclusion. Select File again. Browse to the same file, msmpeng.exe. Again, click on it once, then copy the file name. Close the file window. Back in the Exclusions panel, click Add an Exclusion. Select File Type, then paste the name directly into the file extension box and click Add. Now, just restart your PC to apply all changes. After restarting, the high memory usage issue should be resolved. If this tutorial helped you, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.